Hello chess lovers, Sonnet here and in today's video we are going to reach from this position to this position in just 27 moves. Yes, this is going to be an exciting king hunt. This game is from the ongoing 2024 Armenian Chess Championship. Grandmaster Manuel Petrosian is playing against Artur Davtian. We are in round 4 and Petrosian opened up with e4 to which Davtian answered with c5. The good old Sicilian defense is on the board and white is going for Moscow variation. Here white castled kingside knight c6. Of course now with c4 white can establish more ulti bind but decided to play c3 with the intention of then playing d4 establishing a classical pawn center. But since there is nothing which stops this d pawn black decided to make d5. E takes d5, queen takes d5, d4, by the way all this is a theory, e6, queen a4. Bishop e3 is an alternative. In the game we have d takes c5 can be also played, but in the game we have queen a4. c takes d4, knight takes d4, queen goes back to d7, bishop e3, white is leading in development and black has to be quick, you know, this king is still in the center while already white is starting to create some problems for his opponent. Bishop c5 is a uh, Good choice in here, but look, played knight g7, which is also a decent continuation. Although now the knight is blocking the bishop's diagonal, there goes knight b5. This rook is also ready to harass the queen. Meanwhile, we have knight d5, rook d1. Now the threat is c4. That's why black unpinned the knight, queen c8. And here we go, guys. How should white proceed? Petrosian played very aggressively and he made an exchange sacrifice. Sounds promising, right? He takes d5, bishop f4, now knight c7 can be a threat, and queen g4. Stockbridge suggests an interesting move, g5, for example, if bishop g3, then f5, and if knight c7 check, then in the end of the day, black can trap this bishop, and also this knight is also going to drop, right? Yeah, takes, takes, queen f4, bishop e7, the engine gives players equal chances, but in our game we have queen g4. Now, according to Stockfish, knight c7 check followed by knight takes d5 is good for white. That can allow white to gain advantage. Instead we have h3, queen e2, knight c7 check, king d7, knight takes a8, queen e1 check. Well, this is a mistake, guys. And the best move in here is queen b2. Not sure what was in white's mind. What was Petrosian going to play after queen b2? If queen d1, then bishop d6. The fight goes on. All in all, the engine gives the players equal chances. But in our game, we have queen e1 check and gradually black is starting to find himself in trouble. Bishop d6, takes, takes, and now this king really went too far, you know, guys. And now what to play with the white pieces? Here's Manuel Petrosian made a move in the style of old masters, you know. He played knight a3. Come on, man, what is this? He's sacrificing his rook on a1. This queen is deflected now. And here we go, we are starting to harass black king, check, king e7, queen c7, check, of course, we won't allow this king to find a safe shelter, king f6, another check, king g5, check, king takes h4, queen takes d5, queen f1, a desperate, desperate attempt, queen f5, we have a resignation, the threat is mate in one, yeah, what else, what can black play, guys? g5, then queen h3 checkmate, there is no way out, black king is in a mating net, black resigned. Well, there were some inaccuracies by both sides, but the positions were complex, I understand that, and all in all I liked how Manuel Petrosian played this game. A dramatic game in the style of old romantic era of chess, yeah. This was a game like played by old masters.
It was good, I liked it. In the end, the chess problem for you, the task is to mate in two. We'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.